Hi everyone, thank you for joining me today. I am sharing my design project for Tsunami Rose and this is using Charming Fragments 2. I absolutely love this uh, printable. For this journal, I have made a fabric cover with this uh, really gorgeous floral print that I had. And I've used some elements from the kit in the front and back. I've got some vintage um, lace or trim in the front and the lace closure. It is a bit of a, I've used a cardstock, so it's quite sturdy, uh, but I've left the fabric so you could see all of it because I love the print. Um, on the front here, I've got my um, envelope pockets that I've been madly making. This is from J9 Scrap Shop. And um, I just had to add one here with some of the elements from the kit. I've got some fabric um, tabs as well, which I absolutely love. And um, I've just used uh, also a paper pad that happened to go with the collection. And so I think it just turned out really nicely because it just goes really well together. On this um, book page envelope, I've stitched it together and I've added some elements again from the digital. So I've left lots of space to journal. I've used a printable that has a lot of space as well. I love how um, Daisy designed that. And here's a lace flip up with some additional, <clears throat> excuse me, additional journaling cards. I've also used um, a couple of different um, ephemera kits from uh, Tsunami Rose, little tag here. And um, I'll link everything below that I've used as well. On this page, I have the uh, printable, sorry, the vintage wallpaper uh, stitch pockets that I've been making. This is also part of the uh, paper pad. And then here we've got the vintage book page. And then this envelope that Daisy designed. I absolutely love how big it is and how she's designed it. It's one of my favorites. Here I've used the watercolor sticker book pages that I love and it matched the fabric so I used that. I thought it went so nicely together. I've got some images here that I love. This is a coloring page, fabric flip up, and then here I've just added some tuck spots and some pockets with journaling cards. This is also part of the printable paper pad there. Vintage Jeopardy uh, game piece, I guess. This is a tag that I made from the paper. And then this um, embellished paper clip has laces and trims and fabric on it. Most of the items that I've added to this journal are removable so that, you know, whoever gets it is um, able to you know, just add their own things to it. Or if they don't want to use any of the elements that I've added, they can be taken away. Um, but um, I've put so many little um, ephemera pieces as well. This is part of the paper pad, matches the cover, the inside cover. Center of the signature here. And I've left again, I have picked the pages that have a lot of printable space on them. More journaling tags. Fabric flip up. And then here I've made like a triple pocket. I love these images. And then here I've made um, a tag as well with some embellishments. Um, Again, these ones were inspired by Roxy Creations and it's just, you kind of do a, a collaging on book pages and I've made a tag out of that. So I'm really liking how that turned out. I'll show you more as um, I'll probably make another video with the other ones that I've been making. I'll flip up here. It's the vintage book page. More journaling space here. A 
then back pocket on this side and this pocket I made it with um that matches the cover because I kind of print um photocopied the um the fabric a little bit to make that pocket there so I just really liked how it looked and then the back pocket is um has just some extra drilling space it has a fabric pocket there and then this is tag and then Gina scraps some um, tag as well so I'll put all the links below to everything I've used um, thank you for joining me today and if you're interested in purchasing please um, check out my shop I'll have everything listed there thank you for stopping by